this is a 1v1 with Walt Urezo, or uh, just Walt. He's a player, very strong Medieval 2 player, and I am playing as Sicily, and he's playing as Spain. And uh, I went for a rush strategy here. Um, I have a line of three Pike Militia units that are supposed to close in with his line here, kind of as a, a distraction. And I'm approaching on his right, on his left flank, on, on my right flank, with a, uh, with all my heavy infantry. I also brought four uh, of East Crossbow Militia, which is kind of a unusual choice for a rush. Uh, on my part. Let's see here. Uh, but I find them to be very effective at destroying enemy cavalry. So that was my intention with this build. Uh, and I believe they're already at work shooting down the enemy. Now, uh, Spain and Sicily actually have a lot of similar cavalry options. No, there's a Uh, slow it down a little bit there. So, Norman Knights and Spanish Conquistadores, mounted Conquistadores, mounted Norman Knights are, have identical stats. Uh, I think there might be some small differences if you look at their files, but the real advantage Spain has, of course, is it's tremendously overpowered in dismounted Conquistadores. Probably the best infantry unit in the game. So, let's take a look at what's happening here. I'm trying to flank the Spanish forces. Uh, but it looks like he's going to get my Norman Knight unit there. So, Norman Knights are the best infantry unit that the Normans have to feed. And they are significantly outclassed by the Conquistadors. Uh, you got a half decent charge there. A lot of the beast crossbowmen are at work. I probably have targeted his general. And it looks like I'm definitely winning this cavalry engagement. Of course, my general's pinned down here. So I'm moving past these units and trying to support my general. General's bodyguard. Uh, the reality is, though, that I'm really not in a good place to win this infantry engagement. Uh, I did bring spearmen, which I guess I was hoping to yeah, use these armored sergeants against this cavalry. I definitely have the advantage with the cavalry engagement. No, he's got spear militia in there. So I'm going to pull out. So I think we're more and more evenly matched there. So the Pike Militia isn't... Uh, I was hoping to get into his police units, so he's got an equal amount of hobbies. But I just can't. It's, it's difficult to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Spain here in an infantry engagement. And these units are going to hold out, but they're just not going to be. Uh, in particular, this Norman Knight, which I hope to use to, to flank this feudal knight unit turn flanked by Conquistadors. Uh, it's just not going to work. That was a mistake. I was obviously trying to set the General's bodyguard away and have him come back in for a bigger charge. But, uh, let's see. So we are having some limited success. Uh, so he's got armored feudal knights. So that's a kind of atypical. Typically you'll see Spain players bring a mix of Conquistadores. Dismounted Conquistadors and uh, uh, Chivalric Knights, but instead he's brought on the Feudal Knights, which uh, have the same stats as my Norman Knights, though I tend to think that Norman Knights are a bit more competitive for whatever reason. So I can tell this is, a, this is an earlier game because when I bring Sicily, I don't even bring uh, Broken Lances anymore. They're, they just, their, their morale is a little bit low. 
uh, it's best to combine Norman Knights with a mixed force of uh, Sword and Buckler men. So here we go, I'm trying to get a rear charge. And it fails spectacular. Uh, spectacular. My lord, only half our force failed. remains. Uh, I did not get the rear charge I needed. Uh, my beasts are now being attacked by dismounted beasts. So the beast crossbowmen have the morale of the potato, so they're going to be done here in a minute. I really should have tried to bring them back. Uh, but, you know, he has enough of the beast units that if, if you're... I've, I've won games where my mainline infantry have all been routed, and if you still have the advantage with the beast units, and you have them... Uh, Retreat in the, in the right manner, you can still have the victory. Uh, but he still has, you know, two untouched units, basically. And then, well, really four units that are almost full strength. Uh, this battle really can't be, be won at this point, so I'm just delaying the inevitable. So what was my mistake here? I think, uh... First of all, I, I didn't bring the, the, the great unit. Uh, the dismounted broken lances are, are just not a very effective mainline infantry unit. Uh, their attack isn't great. They have great defense, but you really should just bring Sword of Bucklerman, mostly because that's a unit with much higher morale for, uh, for Sicily. I'm trying to dig into his uh, crossbows here, but it's just not going to work out for me. And so even if I manage somehow to take out all this crossbow, which I can't do. Uh, Lord, preserve us! We yeah, have exactly. been dealt a he, stinging defeat today. He's got too much heavy infantry left. I couldn't pick a way out of him, so I just admit defeat at this point. Uh, so good game to Gwalt. Well, also known as Brancilione. He likes to have that name sometime. I think this battle, this battle's from a long time ago. This might have been over a year ago. Um... But there's another match we played together, and I hope to up that, uh, upload that one as well shortly. Let's take a look at the uh, battle statistics. So that's that's pretty pretty dang good. Uh, generals, bodyguard, Norman knights. Uh, so that's a pretty good number of casualties. If it was a victory, it could have been in the hundreds there, or over 100. Armored Sergeant. See, I didn't use these units well. So, in this older Sicily build I used to bring, I would use these to target enemy cavalry during uh, the, the the cav engagements in the game. Uh, so, some of these pike militia, I mean, 24, that's good for pike militia acting on its own. In a sense, I think it got in there with uh, the Spanish Pavis units and took them out. Uh, not great kills with my, my Pavis Militia there. Norman Knights, again, they were just... Dismounted Norman Knights, they were just outclassed by Conquistadores. Uh, it's, it's very difficult. You know, Spain is an overpowered faction because of their infantry. And if, if you notice, in the campaign game, you can't actually recruit those unless you're in the Americas. And then only at great cost. So... They are kind of uh, overpowered, but, you know, that's, I should have known that. You know, I saw he was playing with Spain, and I wanted to, to stick with uh, Sicily anyways. Uh, you know, the, the only other comparable infantry unit is the Moorish Christian Guard, which uh, has comparable stats, but uh, the Moors are just not as strong of a faction as, Cic as uh, Spain, because Spain still has really good cavalry. Um... But good game to my opponent, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed the vid.